if a is any number and n a positive integer, then a n is a times a times a n times. 3 to the 5th is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 5 times, and it's equal to 243. Negative 1 in parentheses squared is equal to negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1. Negative 1 without parentheses squared, order of operation, we multiply 1 by itself, and then we tack on the negative sign. So it's equal to negative 1. Be very careful with parentheses. Remember that the exponent applies to whatever is on the immediate left-hand side of it. Negative, a negative number exposed to an even number is positive. A negative number exposed to an odd number is negative. 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. Negative 7 squared is negative 7 times negative 7, which is positive 49. Negative 2 thirds between parentheses to the fifth power is negative 2 thirds times itself 5 times. Since the exponent is odd, the sign of the product will be negative. And uh, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 5 times 2 to the fifth is 32. It's 4 times 4, 16 times 2, 32. 3 times 3 times 3 5 times will be 243. 9 times 9, 81 times 3, 243. 4 to the third is 4 times 4 times 4. So it's 16 times 4, which is 64. 12 over 13 to the first. Well, it's just 12. 12 to the first. And 13 to the first is just 13. So it stays 12 over 13. Point 0.9 to the third, nine tenths to the third is point 0.9 times point 0.9 times point 0.9. So it's going to be point 0.81 times point 0.9. It's going to be point 0.729. Next question, 1 over 5, 1 fifth to the second, 1 fifth squared is equal to 1 fifth times 1 fifth. We're going to multiply numerator by numerator. 1 times 1 is 1. Denominator by denominator, 5 times 5 is 25. Negative 2 third to the second is negative two thirds times negative two thirds. A negative times a negative is a positive. Positive four ninth. Negative five to the third. There's no parenthesis. So we need to exponentiate first and then tack on the negative sign. So it's five times five times five. And then we tack on the negative sign. 5 times 5 is 25 times 5. So it's going to be negative 125. AM times AN is equal to AM plus N. X squared times X to the 9 is equal to X to the 2 plus 9, which is X11. A to the 5th times A to the 7 is equal to a to the 5 plus 7, a to the 12. 
y to the third times y to the fourth times y, which is y to the first, it's equal to y to the three plus four plus one, which is y to the eighth. Now, x to the eighth times itself for time is equal to x to the eight plus eight plus eight plus eight. So it's going to be four times eight. So x to the 32. Four a cubed times six a squared, four times six. And a cubed times a squared. We rearrange the factors. Commutative property, four times six, 24 a to the 3 plus 2, a to the 5th. We're going to do the same thing for 6, negative 9 times 5, and then x to the 6 times x, which is x to the 7, and y to the 2nd times y to the 7, which is y to the 9. Negative 9 times 5, negative 45, x to the 7, y to the 9.